students previously we have learned about force today we are going to learn about work and energy so what do you mean by work but before that let's recall the push and pull force once again do you remember we need to push a desk from point a to b to change its position and we are calling it push force or the muscular force and to move the desk from one position to another we need some energy now look at here when we transfer energy from point a to point b then what is happening we are doing some work all right so we require force to do some work and when transfer of energy occur then we say that the work has done so let us find out the definition of work work is defined as a force causing the movement or displacement of an object when we apply force to move an object it is said that the work is being performed which i have explained you already when we pull a chair to sit it is said that work is being performed but when we try to push or pull a heavy object like a big cupboard or a bed and are not successful to do so it is said that no work is being performed that means to do some work we have to displace the object position otherwise we say the work is not done now look at here this little boy he wants to push the chair so pushing and pulling the chair is very easy but pushing the bookshelf is hard cause it is heavy so now he is doing more work and eventually he felt tired so we can say that the ability to do work is reduced the ability to do work is known as the energy we need energy to talk to write to run to play to have our food to breathe and to do every single thing in our life and foods provide us energy to perform all these activities do you see the car it also requires energy even cooking food also requires energy there are different forms of energy some of them which we have to study are electrical energy heat energy wind energy solar energy hydro energy and thermal energy let us learn about them in details but before that we need to understand the sources of energy there are two type of sources of energy one is renewable source of energy and another is non renewable source of energy renewable energy is the energy resource that is replaced rapidly by a natural process such as power generated from sun or from the wind etc most renewable forms of energies are like wind energy hydro energy solar energy etc renewable energy is also called the clean energy or the green power because it doesn't pollute the air or the water and this is why it is also known as the non conventional resources that means they can be renewed at a faster rate and we can use them like forever they are known as non conventional that means they are unusual unlike the usual fuels like coal petrol diesel which are present on earth in a fixed amount and can be finished up soon by us in our near future so examples of renewable resource of energy can be sun wind or water they are also known as non conventional resources now we will talk about the different forms of energy so electrical energy is energy that is caused by moving electric charges and it moves through the wires look at here 
in our everyday life we use electrical energy to run fans washing machine tube lights etc next is heat energy we use heat energy for a lots of things like cooking food to warm our rooms in winter by using the electric heater etc most of the heat energy comes from coal petrol kerosene and the sun that means we can get heat energy from non renewable resources as well as from the renewable resources next is wind energy wind energy is used to produce electricity through the windmill so these structures are known as the windmill it is also used for grinding of wheat it is a renewable source of energy as we use wind to produce energy next is solar energy it is the most abundant source of energy available on land it does not belong to anybody and abundant means available in large quantity so from sun we can get the light energy not only us but the plants also produce their food by using the sunlight's energy and sunlight's energy is known as the solar energy and solar energy is free it is also the most important non conventional source of energy because it is non polluting that means it is a green energy that means it is also a renewable source of energy when we hang our clothes to dry in sun we use energy of the sun in the same way solar panels absorb the energy of the sun to provide heat for cooking and for heating water this is how the solar panels look like next is hydro energy the hydro power is derived from the energy of falling water or fast running water hydro means water that's why we call it hydro energy which is used to produce the electricity with the help of turbine it is also a renewable energy next is thermal energy the energy produced by coal to generate electricity is called thermal energy we use energy to run our vehicles and we use petrol to run our cars diesels to run the buses thermal energy coming from burning the fuels mostly coal so clearly it is non renewable since we cannot get back the fuel we burn now imagine you are burning a piece of coal can you get the piece of coal intact after you burnt it of course you cannot that means these are the examples of non renewable energy so students that is all for today so read this chapter very carefully next day we will discuss the question answer of this chapter thank you students